Hi to all of my Christmas friends out there. My name is Shannon and I want to welcome you here to the Cozy Christmas Cottage. Now what does a paper towel holder, hanger, and painter's tape have to do with Christmas? Let me show you. It seems like there is always so many different things you need to carry around when it's time to wrap gifts, especially when it comes to ribbon and that seems to be all over the place. So let me show you a way to kind of keep this all together and stop it from rolling all over the place. This is just a paper towel holder from the Dollar Tree. So yes, only $1 and we're gonna use it to store our ribbon. So you can see the hole on my ribbon is just pretty tiny. We are going to snip this with some scissors on the edges here on both sides. So that way we can slide these right down onto our paper towel stand. You can also go ahead and rip off those paper ends if you want. Um, it just kind of makes it a little harder to stack them, but that's a possibility too. You can see here with this next one, it just slides right on when you take off those cardboard ends. And you can just go ahead and stack these up and fit as many as you can on here. It's an easy way to carry it around and also keep it handy when it's time to wrap gifts. Another tip is to use some painter's tape to keep those ends from unraveling too. If you're like me, you save your leftover wrapping paper and use it year after year until it's gone. But sometimes when I go to store it and I pull it out the next year, it looks like this. It's ripped, it's wrinkled because it just didn't stay twisted up like it should. And I have a quick and inexpensive way to fix that. All you need is a leftover paper towel tube. So all you have to do is cut your paper towel tube in half, cut a slit up the side, and then wrap that around your wrapping paper while you're not using it. And now our wrapping paper will not come undone. You can even add a little piece of painter's tape to the back side to make sure it stays in place. I'm telling you what, painter's tape is so handy during the holidays. Keep that around and also stay tuned because I have another hack that involves painter's tape. But first we're gonna use the other end of that paper towel roll and we're gonna make a little gift pouch. So I've just folded those ends over and then you can use it to stuff with candy, money, little toys and trinkets if you want. Pop down the other end so that it closes and then you can decorate it up with whatever you have on hand. Scrapbook paper, wrapping paper, just wrap it so it looks cute, add a little bit of ribbon and you have a really cute way to give small little gifts. So you saw me fumbling around a little bit with the tape in our last hack, but this is a gadget I had to share again. I found this last Christmas. It is a clip-on tape dispenser, so you can clip it onto your work surface. It even twists depending on if you're right-handed or left-handed or however you have it situated on your workspace. I am right-handed, so I technically usually keep it on the right side, and it's so easy to wrap gifts with, especially because a lot of times we're holding down a piece of paper and then need to grab tape. So this thing has just made life so much easier. I'll make sure to link this down in the description box below. A great gadget to have for Christmas time and if you are a crafter. Next, we're gonna be utilizing some command hook strips for this next hack to add a wreath to the front door. So it's really fun to add some ribbon to hang your wreaths, but then how do you do it, right? Well, I have a little blind up on the front of my she shed door, so I removed that first. Then our command hook, we're actually gonna flip upside down. So usually you put it on like this, but we're gonna flip it this way so the hook is upside down. Then we're going to attach this onto our door, like I said, upside down, center it, push it on tightly, and then we can go ahead and add some ribbon onto our wreath. This is just some satin ribbon. It's really pretty, it has a nice shine to it. I'm just pretty much grabbing quite a bit off of my roll so that way I have some room for adjustments. And you can see it just hangs right on the wreath here. I flipped that ribbon up over the top of my door, kind of centered my wreath. And then you'll see here that I'm just making a knot. Once I have it adjusted to the height that I want it, 
just tying a knot up underneath that hook so it stays in place. And then I cut the ends off too so you don't see those in the door. Replaced my shade back over it so you don't even see it. And then the front just looks like a really pretty flawless look. And now for these wire hangers. So you saw me recently create Christmas trees out of these hangers. And if you missed that video, I will put that up in the iCards and down in the description box. Definitely watch that video. It's five minute Christmas home decor ideas. So it's a super quick, easy, and an expensive project because these hangers you can find at Walmart, a pack of 10 of them will only cost you a dollar 44, which makes this hack super inexpensive. So most of us probably have Christmas lights, whether they're one kind or another, and they come on these strings and they become a mess and they're hard to untangle. But if you grab a hanger and wind your lights around a hanger, not only can you hang them in a closet or something to keep them organized, but you can also stack them in a box next to each other, pull them out individually, and they'll come undone without a big tangled mess. So next, I love organization hacks, and this next one is kind of a two-in-one. First, a great idea is to take a picture of your tote bin before you unload it to decorate for the holidays. That way you know what items go together when you go back to repack and re-put everything away. Another idea is to actually get everything out of the box lay it on the floor and take a picture. So what you'll do is take a quick picture and then you can also swipe up once you go back to that picture and label it and add a caption. So this one, I'm actually labeling it box one. You can get more detailed if you want and then label that box box one. So now you know exactly what goes back in that box or if during the regular year you need something out of a box, you can go back to that photo or all of your photos, hunt down that item and know specifically which box that item is in. Now I love the concept of reusable gift bags and gift wrap, mainly because it's less waste and it's also something that you can use year after year. But have you ever thought of using pillowcases as a reusable gift bag? These are so great because they're pretty thick so they can hold some heavier items. But I also really love them because a lot of them come with zippers on them. So you can zip these up and you're not gonna have anything come tumbling out. You can also go one step further and make this look even more like a gift bag by tying some ribbon around the top and tying a bow, adding a to and from tag, and then you have a beautiful gift to add underneath your tree. Did you know you can make a gift box out of a paper plate? You just need some ribbon, scissors, a stapler, and of course, a paper plate. We're gonna make four cuts into this plate, cutting not quite all the way to the center, and then rotating it about 90 degrees. So we have four cuts evenly spaced. And now you want to keep your stapler handy. We're basically going to pull up on the left side and rotate and pull down on the right side. So that flat part will actually be flat against the table. And this is the point where we are going to staple our plate. It's going to create sides for our gift box. So you'll continue rotating your plate around, connecting it at four points. Now to make this look a little bit more festive, I'm just using some tissue paper pushed down into the bottom here. I'm gonna be using this as a baked goods gift box. So adding some cookies to the inside there and folding the tissue paper over. You may even wanna put these in a plastic bag so they stay fresh. And then you can add some ribbon around the edges too to really dress it up and make it a pretty gift to give. I would love to hear down in the comments below what your favorite cookies are. Mine are peanut butter. So I mentioned before how great painter's tape is for the holidays, and this is a fun way to add some accessories to your wall without damaging it. So we're gonna be using some painter's tape and some hot glue here, but we're gonna put the painter's tape down on our wall first, 
making sure our painter's tape is cut down to size so you don't see it behind our accessories. Then you can add your hot glue right on top of the painter's tape and add your accessory onto there. What this does is it makes it easy for you to remove your accessories when you're ready to. It just peels right off super easy and it doesn't damage your wall or your paint. We've got you on my mind. I would definitely recommend making sure that you use light items for this concept so they don't fall down off of your wall, but you can see how easy these just pop right off when you're done with them and they don't do any damage to your wall. Let me know which one of these hacks was your favorite. You can leave those down in the comments below. Make sure to hit that thumbs up button, subscribe if you are new, and I wanna thank you so, so much for joining me here at the Cozy Christmas Cottage. See you next time and happy holidays.